Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Dolly Senior Center. I'm uh, Ted Sullivan, Chief of the Outer Lake Volunteer Fire Department, and it gives me great pleasure to welcome you to our final performance of The Bride Comes to Yellow Sky. Before I begin with my prepared uh, comments, I've been asked to wish every mother in the audience a very happy Mother's Day by the cast and crew of our show. Let's give a hand for our... I've decided to wear my hat while I give my speech so I don't blind the people in the front part of the, of the show. Um, we want to thank the members of the Dolly Senior Center for allowing us to use this beautiful facility for our show. I'd also like to remind you if you have cell phones, pagers, or any device that in your pocket that might make noise during the performance, to please turn them off or put them in silent or vibrate mode. The uh, center aisle of the audience will be used by the performers extensively during the performance, so please see to it that no backpacks, canes, or any other obstructions are laying in the aisle in the dark. They can be very hard for the performers to see. Also, there will be refreshments following the performance, and since we've got such a small group tonight, you can really pick out after the show, so please stick around if you have time and join us for refreshments afterwards. Um, all proceeds from this and the other performances are donated to the Outer Lake Volunteer Fire Department. As many of you know, we recently purchased a new uh, facility across the road from our old one that we've been in for about 60 years now, and in the process of renovating that, so any donations uh, to that effort are very much appreciated. And with that said, on with the show. Tell us when it's time to go. 
They charge a whole dollar. A whole dollar? Why, Jack, that's way too much for us, ain't it? Not on this trip, anyhow. We're going to live it up in style. It's a thousand miles from one end of Texas to the other, and this train runs right across it and never stops for four times. Four times? Four times. We're doing yellow sky at 6.42 tomorrow morning. Oh, are we? I'm going to look at my new silver clock and see what time it is now. Yeah, I bought it for you in San Antonio from a friend of mine. Check the time. I have 5.17. They're both the same. I believe. <laughs> uh, which way do we go? We've never been to a dining car before. Uh -huh. Well, follow us. Herra Jäskas, ei sitä tolla tavalla Suomessa tehdä. That's not how it's done in Finland. <laughs> As they enter, the groom points out to his bride the dazzling things of the dining car. And in truth, her eyes open wide as she sees the sea green velvet and the shining wood, brass, and silver. To the minds of that pair, their surroundings reflect their marriage that morning in San Antonio. Take your glasses off and look at those two. You can still see there's some happy couples in the world. <laughs> I can see just fine with my glasses on, thank you. But you're really not seeing how happy they are. You're just looking at their clothes. Look how they look in each other's eyes. Remember when we used to be there? Oh, be realistic. In 20 years, they're going to be just like us. <laughs> you are such a hopeless romantic. I'm giving you just one minute to snap out of this. One, two, three. I, I snapped on it. <laughs> would you like to have something to drink? Yes. Baby Cakes and I would like two glasses of your... Very fine as Chardonnay. Thank you.
where did you get that dress? I got it from Spiegel's. You mean the mail order catalog? Yes, and it was on sale for $1.95. Oh my, don't you know that those puff sleeves are so out of fashion? No, I didn't. Why, haven't you seen pictures of Joan Crawford in the movie magazines? Who's Joan Crawford? Oh, honey child, you don't know who Joan Crawford is? No. Let me tell you. She won the Academy Award for Best Actress in that movie, Mildred Pierce. Now, in that movie, she wore big shoulder pads to give us ladies the new military. Speaking about the military, has your number been called up by the draft yet? No. No? I see. I was exempt because I am the marshal. The yellow sky. <laughs> yeah, well, the draft were classified baby cakes here four out. Four times! That old gray mare just ain't what it used to be. <laughs> Ada, can we go to the sleeper car? It's sleepy time. But, can I take the bottle? No. Absolutely not. Why in the world do you need that when you help me? <laughs> <laughs> left, miles down on a purple slope, a little ribbon of mist. There flows the Keating Rio Grande. The train is approaching at an angle, and the apex is yellow sky. As the distance to yellow sky grows shorter, Jack Potter is beginning to find the shadow of the deed that lay upon his shoulders like a leaden slab. He's becoming more restless. He's the marshal of Yellow Sky, a man known and feared, a prominent person. He'd gone to San Antonio to meet a girl he believed he loved, and he actually induced her to marry him. Chad, where'd that blue man go with our menus? Don't know. I guess he, we must have under, misunderstood what he said. Oh, okay. Now bringing a bride home before an unsuspecting community. San Antonio, he was like a man hidden in the dark. But the hour of yellow sky is approaching.
distorted. <coughs> it tastes like she's using that eight o'clock she had yesterday morning. <laughs> <laughs> But 
when it flows clear down to China and to the stars above at a thousand degrees below zero it grows my longer love and so I lost my longer and to this cafe I come and it's here I wait for someone to stir coffee with their thumb. <laughs> Was great. Great? You call that great? You must have a deep ear. What? <laughs> I've got news for you. Daisy has more taste on the tip of her little finger than the likes of you. <coughs> she loves that classical stuff. Hey, you all. I have some real news for you. I hear Jack Potter's gone clear out of town. Want to do some fishing. Well, you know, I was down by the track this morning and saw the train come in and saw Jack get on it. But you know, they weren't carrying no fishing pole. Ah, you can, do you have to believe him? He, he didn't see that anything. He got. Well, you know, only got one eye. You <laughs> can't believe him. I know he's got a problem in the scene department. But our pot, walk, well, and pants knows everything that goes on in Yellow Sky anyhow. Don't you? That's for sure. Diamonds, that's a card I need. Beat you again. Say, pal. You've been working me over with the help of that floozy over there? She's been blinking them false eyelashes at you. First with her left eye, then with her right. Say, you be careful. If I wasn't so refined, I'd come over to you and plow you in the chops. What did I do? <laughs> Few hours. What are you doing? 
on here? Isn't this sweet water? No, this here's yellow sky. Yellow sky? Yellow sky, not sweet water. No. Haven't you heard there's a pistol crazed woman running around this town? No. It ain't safe. Get back to the train station and get the next train out of town. Forward march. <laughs> Getting off the train, Jack Potter would use all his devices of speed and planescraft to get from the train station to his house. Once within those adobe walls, he would issue some sort of vocal bulletin and then wait to go out among the citizens of Yellow Sky until they'd had a chance to wear off a little of their enthusiasm. Jack, it seems you've been dragging your feet ever since we got off the train. What's wrong? Is there something bugging you? Well, yeah. I sort of broke the rule. Marshall's aren't supposed to get married. What? You broke some old rule and married me? I'm going back to San Antonio. Laura. Well, if it isn't the newlyweds. What you doing here? Got off at the wrong stop. <laughs> you must have drank too much of that Chardonnay in the dining car. <laughs> no problem. <gasps> Forget the four sets. 
There's an eating place called the Longhorn Cafe. It's a short ways from here. I've been there. Oh. Ada can sell them corsets by herself. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Please join us for coffee, punch, and goodies in the back. 